Okay, simply put, cancer is just another name for damaged cells. Thankfully, we have a lymph slash immune system that identifies bad cells and terminates them so they can't replicate and spread. This is nature's intelligence at work. Lymph is also the body's sewer system. It's the major fluid of the body, much bigger than the blood system. It's where all of your trillions of cells dump their toxic waste so it can be eliminated from the body. But for lymph fluid to flow freely, it must be clean. You see, dirty lymph thickens and turns to acid. This is called acidosis, and it's the cause of most of our suffering. Everything from acne to arthritis, canker sores to cancer. Acidosis is caused from years of consuming too many lymph-clogging foods like dairy, grains, meat, refined sugars, cooked foods, high-protein diets, etc. Air and water pollution, chlorine, fluoride, heavy metals, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, including chemotherapy, household chemicals, food additives, radiation, etc. accumulate and cause acidosis as well. When acids burn away at cells, they can mutate and spread. Thick toxic lymph also becomes a breeding ground for viruses, bacteria, fungus, and parasites, which are all linked to cancer. Sluggish lymph also clogs glands and organs that produce immune cells and other things that strengthen our immunity. The medical community likes to only treat problems, so it goes after the specific cancer cells with all kinds of complex and sometimes barbaric methods, but the real problem is simply a toxic lymph slash immune system. It doesn't matter what causes cell damage or where this damage is, the solution is always to clean your lymph. This is known as detoxification. It clears the way to let the awesome intelligence of nature do its job. No pill or machine can even compare. Eating fruit is a powerful way to detox the entire body. Fruit is alkalizing and it gets stagnant lymph moving to the kidneys where it can be cleaned. Organic herbs can really boost a detox. They increase lymph flow and strengthen the glands and organs necessary for strong immunity. The answer to cancer and all so-called diseases is found in nature. You want to overpower illness with wellness. And a strong immune slash lymph system is the golden key. A true detox must include the intestines, also known as the bowels. This is the body's main channel for the elimination of toxic waste, and so important to your well-being that the natural health movement got started by focusing on this system. The small intestines are where digestion and the absorption of nutrients takes place. The large intestine, or colon, processes and eliminates digestive and some cellular waste. Most people's bowels are in terrible shape. Processed foods, high-protein diets, and other acidic foods take their toll. They cause acidosis, which destroys the bowel walls. The medical community calls this irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's, enteritis, colitis, cancer, etc. Refined starches, sugar, and dairy products coat the bowel walls with a toxic layer called mucoid plaque. This blocks the absorption of nutrients and can literally starve the body if it gets bad enough. This sludge is also a breeding ground for parasites that gobble up nutrition that was meant for you. Mucoid plaque is acidic and can eat away intestinal tissue. If you don't move your bowels at least twice a day, you are constipated. Some people only move them once every week or two. Fecal matter sitting in the colon putrefies and toxins get reabsorbed into the blood causing headaches, bad breath, brain fog, bloating, abdominal pain, heart arrhythmias, and more. Sulfur used in pharmaceutical antibiotics accumulates in the bowels. It suppresses the lymph system and weakens intestinal tissues. Sulfur is a fungal proliferator that explodes yeast like candida and other microparasites. Many people with chronic fatigue, cancer, diabetes, and so-called autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and fibromyalgia have sulfur accumulations in the bowels. It shows up in the iris of the eye around the pupil as an orange hue. Switching to a diet of mostly raw fruits and vegetables is one of the best things you can do for your gut health. They cleanse naturally and keep things moving. When detoxing, always make sure your kidneys are filtering out lymphatic waste. Lymph is the body's sewer system and all cells in the body dump their waste into it for cleaning. Cells in the GI tract are no different. If the lymph is not clean, it becomes acidic and destroys tissues in the esophagus, stomach, 
intestines, and all over the body for that matter. Please see my YouTube video on kidney filtration. There's a link below. The adrenals control the kidneys so you won't have clean lymph unless they are strong. Weak adrenals can also cause nerve weakness leading to constipation. Work on the adrenals at the same time you work on the kidneys and the GI tract. This information is also in the video I mentioned. To detox and restore the intestines, use herbs that gently stimulate the bowels, are not habit forming like laxatives, clean out bowel pockets, help break down mucoid plaque, stimulate lymph and blood flow, soothe and remove inflammation, kill parasites, and strengthen the intestinal walls. Cascara sagrada, plantain, white oak bark, and slippery elm bark are good choices but a synergistic formula is much better in my opinion. I wish you many blessings on your journey back home to Wellville. And always remember, love is alkalizing. Thanks for watching.